Hi, Jeremy here from Gasmate. Today we're going to talk to you about the Gasmate three-way camping fridges. The Gasmate range contains three sizes, the 62 litre, the 46 litre and the 42 litre. Each fridge can run on either a 240 volt mains power, a 12 volt DC power like the one in your car or a 9 kg gas bottle with a gas hose and regulator. Each fridge has a cooling panel on the inside of the fridge to make the fridge cold. Each fridge has a control panel with a mode selector so you can select the different types of power source. You also have a thermostat control and ignition button to ignite your gas. On the back of the fridge you have an AC socket for your mains power supply, a DC socket for your 12 volt supply, a gas connection for your gas hose and a battery slot for your battery. Gasmate fridges are absorbent fridges which are a little bit different from your compression fridges at home. Firstly they are silent so they don't make any noise which is a great thing for when you're camping. Secondly, there are two chemicals on the back of here. One which evaporates at a lower temperature, and the other one cools that evaporation rather quickly. We're taking that cooling effect and we're putting it inside the fridge. Then it cycles through the system again and just repeats the cycle constantly, giving you a nice quiet fridge. When setting up your fridge, make sure it's on a level surface and out of direct sunlight. To connect your unit to the mains power, you plug your cable into the AC power socket and plug the other end into the wall socket and turn on. Then you turn the mode selector to the plug symbol and turn your thermostat control to max. To turn off, switch the power off at the wall and remove the plug from the wall. To connect your unit to DC or 12 volt power, you plug your cable into the DC power socket and plug your other end into your lighter in your car or a 12 volt socket. Then turn your mode select to the battery symbol and turn the thermostat control to max. To turn off, unplug your 12 volt plug from the socket. When connecting to gas, you will need to first install a AAA battery into the battery holder for the igniter. Connect the gas hose to the back of the unit and tighten with a spanner. Then connect the regulator to the gas bottle and turn the gas bottle on. You then want to leak test your connections and make sure there is no gas coming out of your connections. I'm just using a spray bottle with soapy water mixture in it. Never use a flame to check for gas leaks. Then turn your mode selector to the flame symbol and the thermostat control to max. You want to press down on the gas ignition button. The gas level indicator will move over once the burner is lit. To turn off the fridge, turn off the gas bottle and disconnect the regulator. When using your fridge for the first time, it may take some time for the gas flow to come through the line to the burner. This can take up to 90 seconds. If it's not lighting, stop and check your gas connections, then try again. Just remember these tips and tricks and you'll have a lifetime of use out of these great camping fridges.